girls, as you know, there is a new friend here. And his name is Philip. And I've invited him to come over for a play date. Let's go get Phil. He's going to be a good friend and play nice. You have manners, that will be the thing. Can you be a good friend? Can you be a good friend, Phil? Okay, here he comes. Come on, Phil. You look fine. You just had a bath. Yeah, you did. Don't you want to come out? And come and meet the girls? Come on. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Philip, you can do it. Don't be shy. <laughs> what was that little sideways jam? Whoa, he's jamming. Look at him. <laughs> He's styling, Ross. Look at him. Ooh. Hey, Phil. Come on, join the ladies. <laughs> Marilyn. Oh, Marilyn's intrigued. Look at the gentleman. This is so funny. They're like, who are you? Look at over here. Look at Julie. Julie is the boss. Look at her. She's like, I'm not so happy about him. I'm in charge here. <laughs> Look at Ross, he's so happy. I haven't heard a crow though. I'm not happy with you. <laughs> Look at her go. Hey, Julie. Come on back. He doesn't mean it. He didn't mean it. Yes, yes I did. She was not. Oh, little sideways action. Did you see that? Look at that. Oh, it's Blanche. This is Blanche, the broody girl. Oh, she's being naughty. A little sideways action. Did you see that? He's establishing his 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 self. Ooh. Whoa. And they're just igno oh, a little too close here, honey.
Look at the sideways dance. What's that? The Watusi. Is he going to crow? He hasn't crowed yet by the girls. Likes that tomato though. Is that the first tomato he's had? To my knowledge. To your knowledge. Maybe ever. I can guarantee you that's the first watermelon he's had. He had a watermelon the other day. Yeah, well, before he came here. He doesn't know what to do with the bagel. Bless his little heart. Hey, Philippe. How's everything going? You know, I looked at some of your tail feathers from when you first came, and they really are coming back. You look fabulous. Yeah. There he goes, checking out his ladies. One of the delightful things about a rooster is that he is always generous with his ladies. And even though Father is giving wonderful bagels and, gosh, what have you got there? You've got, you got, let me just see here. We've got grapes and tomatoes and bagels, a wonderful fare. If you offer this to Phil while he has his ladies in front of him, he will not eat them. He will take them and drop them for his hens. It's the most touching thing you ever saw. Now Father's going to try tossing a nice, delicious tomato to little Phil, but he will not take it. And you'll see the hens run right over. See that? He will not eat them. Look at that. There he goes. No, and if it takes, no, see, he dropped it. He took it in his mouth and he dropped it. And there he goes. He will not do it. If you want him to have some bread, you have to take him and put him aside because he will always share. And he calls his ladies too when he finds something. Philip, you are the perfect example of a gentleman rooster. We weren't sure if we saw a hawk, a hawk fly over today, but we're watching because that would be a very dangerous thing. But we're confident that Phil will keep his hens safe. Red in the water. No! <laughs> did, whoa, did you see that? Phil is not pleased with that father trying to pick up one of his hens. Yeah. Wait a minute. I wouldn't recommend you do that anymore, Ross.
dear. I'm calling. There's a bagel there, and he's calling everybody to come over. There you have it. Listen to him call. No, drops the food. Sweet, very sweet. Gracie, where were you? Were you laying an egg? There you go. Lay it down there for him. That's it. That's a nice piece of bagel.